Mark Racicot, the former governor of Montana and head of the Republican National Committee, said the future of the U.S. Republic was at risk due to the changing culture in the country, and due to social media platforms. According to a report Saturday from the Capser Star Tribune, Racicot made the comments at the 100th annual meeting of the Montana Taxpayers Association, which was held December 8. Racicot was the event's luncheon speaker, according to a report from the In The most probable way for our republic to vanish is through a lack of honor and fidelity. Not surprisingly that is precisely what is required by our constitutional oath of office, the Republican said, according to the Star Tribune. Racicot, 73, served as head of the RNC from 2002 to 2003 and before that was the state attorney general from 1989 to 1993 and the governor from 1993 to 2001. Fidelity is the exact opposite of seeking power for its own sake which as history reveals, at the end of the day, is really a fool's errand, Racicot said at the luncheon, according to the Star Tribune. Without accepting, embracing and discharging one's duties as guided by fidelity, it is inevitable that the life of our republic will over time, like grains of sand passing through an hourglass, be at risk. Racicot last year in an interview with Yellowstone Public Radio said he planned to cast a ballot for now President Joe Biden, the Democratic candidate, saying of former President Donald Trump at the end, the content of a man's character or a woman's character to serve in that capacity is more important than any other issue that I have to consider as he also said he hadn't voted for Trump in 2016, either, adding he had more concerns about him last year than four years prior. He also said that the relationship between people in the U.S. and their neighbors had shifted, and said that social media had made it more difficult to effectively communicate and understand each other's diff- That's how much of the country and much of the world talks to each other these days, he said at the December 8th event of social media platforms. It's dizzying, it's vacuous and it's parallel. It seems almost impossible to me to manage the noise, to control the flood of unverified and frequently inaccurate communications, conceived in anger and competition and then regretted because of all the blathering that is now a matter of public record, he added, according to the report. Read the original article on Business Insider.